is a 125 gallon reef tank that I'm going to be resetting up. It's probably close to 10 years old, if not just a little bit older than that. It's just really needed some more garf grunge in there. She needed more reef janitors in there. She, um, you can see how I put a lot of the snails in there and hermits in there because there were little bits of algae, not big, not huge, not, not patches, but just little pieces of algae starting to grow and I like to get it before it becomes a problem. You see these little tiny white seeds on the glass? Those come from our snails. They're actually eggs and they do hatch out in captivity. The problem is the fish eat the babies or they get skimmed out or the corals eat the babies. So rarely do you see a big, big batch of new ones. What I wanted to do is just first work on getting the algae out of every bit, every nook and cranny, so that when I put corals in there, I'm not fighting that problem from day one. It'll be completely under control just by my little reef janitors, my hermits, my snails. They do a great job and achieving that goal for me. I already started to decorate a little bit, kind of like you would be testing the waters to make sure that the tank is steady enough for the different kinds of corals that I'll be putting in here. And, and you know, again, no matter how bad the tank looks, you can still see all the coralline algae and, you know, the rock, no need to move them. I mean, there's nothing, no tank that we haven't been able to bring back to health. With our reef janitors or a copper gun butterfly for our pages or, or you name it, we've been able to clear it up. So, again, this is not one we're tearing down. This is one we, we, we are rebuilding. And we're going to share every step of the way with you. You see, I already got the full complement of zinnias already going on in here. I love them. Here's my little cirrus snails, the cone-shaped snails. These are the Nerite snails. There's margaritas in here. And it's amazing how it's cleaning they already did. It's pretty amazing. This is gonna be a fun tank, tank to redecorate. Because there's so much room in there put new babies. That right there is a Jajarni tang, the Red Sea sailfin tang, not the Indo-Pacific's Red Sea. And she would eat tons and tons and tons of bryopsis, which is an algae that most fish, or even the reef ganders, barely touch. But she thinks it's, it's dessert. So she's a great one to have in captivity. And instead of moving her to tank to tank, you can just move the rock with the problem algae on it and just move it directly in the tank. Copper band butterflies, great for getting rid of these aptasias. Again, you don't need to move the fish. All you have to do is move the rocks to them. If the rock is too big, then we do suggest moving the fish over there. Ours are so tame we can move them by hand.
Like I said, most of the work has been done. The janitors have pretty much cleaned out every little space in here that had any type of algae growing on it. And now it's just time for me to start redecorating. And we'll show you what it looks like from day one to week one. And if you have any questions at all, please give us a call at 1-800-600-6163 or email us at Leroy, L-E-R-O-Y, at garf, G-A-R-F, dot, org, O-R-G. We hope to hear from you soon.